check it out everybody we are at epcot again for a fourth visit to the park and pluto's inviting us along we're going to try more food and wine give us a like and subscribe right pluto thank you see ya do you have a good sized crowd today the temperature is pretty good actually maybe mid 80s but we're gonna head for italy and try out their food booth italy's our first sale today we are going to try italian style nachos looks great Polpatine toscan looks like good meatballs with rosemary uh good sauce and then i'm gonna try chianti and a they have italian uh bubbly water so four things okay here's our spread here got a little san benedito sparkling water chianti uh italian style nachos that looks fantastic and then we have the meatballs with the red sauce and bread very very good so let's get a little taste of this start with a little chianti it's cold i'm used to room temperature good though but cold all right i'm starving so i'm just gonna take on meat oh let's do a meatball cheer put it right in whatever that sauce is cheer. mama mia that's a good meatball that's good reminds me of my grandma's cooking yeah very good yeah it's not Ooh. bad see what kind of bread this is Ah, gotta dip it in there. Very good. So far, I really like the meatball and the bread. I'm not big on the sauce. Andy will probably say otherwise. It's a nice, it seems like a nice authentic Italian sauce. All right, little Italian nachos. It's good. Mexican nachos are saltier, a little more flavorful. So this is milder, not as much salt, but it is good. I mean, I'm liking the cheese and the meat. I like the cheese and I like the chips. I don't care for the meat. Chips can be a little saltier style chip, but yeah, it's still good. We're gonna polish this off. Definitely gonna polish this off. I'll go in for my next meatball. All right. Very good. Okay, we finally got Andrea a little food. We had to walk halfway around World Showcase to get our first stop. Uh, but Italy is good. We usually skip it because our whole spread there was 33, so that was kind of pricey. So we usually skip Italy, but yeah, that, that was decent. But on to Greece, I think. Yes, more food. I think they have three things we wanted to try. Second sale today, we are going to try cornbread. Look at that, traditional Mexican cornbread with the chocolate sauce. I don't think I've ever had cornbread with the chocolate sauce. No, and I've seen pictures and some of them were like drowning in chocolate, so well, let's I'm a little go. worried. <laughs> so if you know, I am a cornbread aficionado. Never had it with chocolate. And have you ever had this sweet corn cake? That's what it looks more like than actual like cornbread. <laughs> Somehow it works. Oh yeah. It's like the sweet corn cake. So I think that's why the chocolate works. Because it's sweeter. I don't know. Andy may have to grab his own because I don't know if there's any room for two. <laughs> Hey now, I think I want to try it. So I'll do a little little go here. Great. Oh my, yeah. It's like a cornbread corn bake, like in the oven put this chocolate. Like I said, I've never had cornbread with chocolate, but this, this works. 
Oh, well. She meant to get her own. Oh, wait. She called dibs. Wow. Fantastic. This is the must. And we're eating it right outside here, and the AC is blasting out of this door towards us. So that's the way to try the food. Oh, yeah, it's really, really good. I better get in there. It's going. Oh, and I'm trying it with a craft Mexican craft beer. This is actually good. It actually goes with it okay. Very good. Okay, our next sale, we've been excited about this one in Greece. Uh, Spanakopita, if that's how you say it. Impossible Moussaka, definitely have to try that. We've already had griddled cheese, that's really good. And we're gonna try a wine flight. Okay, our spread from Greece. So, Impossible Moussaka, if that's how you say it. Spanakopita, and then a, a wine flight. So that looks really good. So, we were excited about this one. Yeah, Big so, in. So now we gotta look up what moussaka is. <laughs> it's that. So I do see like a potato. All right, our first little bite, moussaka. Oh, 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 that's right. Hmm. There's some interesting yeah, there's a lot spices of... in there. Is that mushroom? No, I thought it was a potato. There's a lot of flavors going on. Hmm. I almost thought it was from India because it almost had like the spices that you have in India, but it's Greece. Yeah, I like that. It's almost like I've had something like this before. I really have to go in for one of these. Spinach. That's real good. We'll see if we could get a crunch. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. Yeah. I remember this from last year. Spinach and cheese with a crispy pastry. I mean, how can you go wrong? Very good. You want the euro? Dry. Dry. Maybe this is walking worthy. All right, all three are dry, just different colors. I mean, they're not bad. We've got some good rosé, white wine. Oh no, dry red, rosé, white wine. Pretty good. But I definitely don't stir. Spanakopita? The Spanakopita, because that is really good. This, I don't know, it's interesting. I just don't know if it's something I would get again, but it's a new item. I'm not big on like the impossible flavor, so maybe that's what is throwing me off. So I think it's supposed to be savory, but there's some, there's a funny spice in here that's normally in a dessert. Yeah. I'm trying to think what that is. Maybe nutmeg? I mean, I could eat that. It's good. All right, well, here is Greece. <laughs> so the uh, Spanakopita might be one of the star items of the festival. It's almost like a grilled cheese inside a puff pastry with spinach and buttery goodness. That's, mine's gone. It was maybe one of my favorites. <laughs> festival favorites. All right, I'm trying the pork rinds. Andrea really wants the frozen s'mores, so we'll show you that. All right, so I got the pork rinds. I used to like them as a kid. Not so much now, I don't know. They're not as salty as I remember, but it comes with it comes with a cheese dip, which that's actually kind of spicy. So, I've never been a pork rind person ever, but this does look like it's got a lot of seasoning on it. 
I'll give it a little try, but I'm not hopeful because I don't like pork rinds. But let's see. <laughs> wow, they're crunchy. Yeah. Might lose a filling. Yeah, I'm still not a pork rinds person, but I gave it a try. It's been a long time. The pimento is very spicy. Pretty good. How's your s'mores? The graham cracker was very good. Hmm. So I don't have a spoon, but chocolate milk, s'mores cracker, you really can't go wrong. It tastes lovely. Here we go. I did get a strawberry beer. It's actually really good. That's fantastic. But pork rinds are a no-go for me. I can't. Please remain seated. For those of you who are standing, make sure you hang on the handrail, get your seat back. And we thank you all for that. So, welcome on board. Just now leaving the dock there at Canada, folks. We're headed right over to Milwaukee. Only a fucking truck ever on the front of the boat. We needed a break from walking. to the beat tonight Sheila E. 5 30. All right cool. May actually get a close spot here. We're a little early.
hope you just enjoyed the little clips of Sheila E. That was kind of exciting. That was fun. We were in the second row. Yeah, that was so. very entertaining. So she's from the 80s. She was Prince's percussionist. So hope you enjoyed everything. Enjoy the new food and wine booths that we showed you. This is it. We've done all the booths we want now. So if we do another one, it would be a best of. Yep. So thanks for coming all along. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and let's see you next time. Yep. We <laughs> see will you see time. you on our next adventure. Bye. Bye.